Hello everyone, this is Evan here from The Trade Risk on Wednesday, August 19th. We are intraday right now and this is our weekly swing trade ideas video where we highlight a handful of different stocks for your watch list. Stocks are chosen based on specific technical trade setups, which we'll walk through in just a moment. And as always, these videos are sponsored by our partners over at Investors Business Daily. We curate ideas from their stock lists. You can get access to their stock list with a link in the description of this video. So we're going to be looking through a handful of different scans today. And just to sort of give you uh, an overview of, of where these ideas come from and what we're looking at here. Uh, we've basically built out a stock universe using uh, IBD's watch lists and also our TR150 watch list. So it's basically a uh, group of a couple hundred what we would consider high quality sort of leadership uh, growth stocks in this current market environment. And then we scan on that universe. We scan for specific technical trade setups on that uh, stock universe. So we've got a handful of different uh, free and premium scans we've built out for TC2000. They are all available on our website, everything we're gonna walk through today. Some are free, some are paid, and uh, we're gonna walk through some of the output here and hopefully get some good ideas uh, that you might be interested in. So let's start off with some, with some momentum um, with some momentum ideas. So these are basically stocks that are breaking out to new highs uh, on volume. PSNL, this is one of them here. You can see it's up five days in a row, so probably not the best idea to be chasing in the short term, uh, but certainly if you kind of zoom out here, we've got a big leading stock, strong uptrend, uh, good accumulation volume coming in recently, and we're setting new highs today on heavier volume. The other name that's on this list, which uh, I have to do a victory lap on is MNTA. This is a stock that we were fortunate enough to own in our Merlin trading strategy uh, coming into today. J&J uh, &J announced a buyout for this particular stock. So it looks like it's gonna go bye-bye here and we probably aren't gonna be seeing this on uh, the tradable, tradable sort of universe uh, going forward, uh, but a big 69% pop today, and um, you know, fortunate enough, thanking the the trading gods that that we were uh, available in this stock. Uh, we picked it up about a week or two ago into these lows. So very nice name there, showing up on the 52-week highs list. But uh, that's the story there, and I don't think you're going to get too much. Uh, reason to continue to track it. Uh, OTRK, uh, so this one here also showing up on the 52 week high on volume scan. You can see this one up 20% on the session, high volume coming in. We're recording this intraday and you can see all of the stocks that we've looked at so far are already above their one month volume. So uh, good name here, strong name here, something to pay attention to going forward. And last but not least on uh, not quite a new highs list, but this is on our engulfing, bullish engulfing scan list. And this is COOP. I actually really like this setup here. Um, so this one actually is, uh, you know, something that opened below yesterday's lows. It's currently above yesterday's highs. And you can see here it's pulled back recently and uh, really just has a nice kind of uh, pattern here in terms of uh, a trend, a bull flag-ish looking uh, technical setup that is starting to resume to the upside. So those are some of the, the sort of breakout momentum names. Let's look at uh, this list right in here. So this is the tight high scan list that we have here. Uh, and this list are basically stocks that are uh, near term consolidating. So NDAQ, so NASDAQ here, you can see uh, this is a great looking pattern. You can see a stock that is trading just off of its highs. Uh, it is pulled back a little bit. It's consolidating nicely. A little bit of uptick here in some bearish volume, which isn't super ideal, uh, but the technical structure is still real nice here as it uh, you know just kind of goes, quiets down and goes sideways. So NDAQ, I think that one's an interesting one to pay attention to, uh, FSL, FSLY. Uh, this one here getting a pretty tight 
four or five day consolidation. Again, this is showing up in our tight high scan. So essentially we've got a cluster of recent highs here. The stock is bumping up against it now. Uh, again, nice long-term uptrend. So something that you could look for some range expansion, a breakout through this level um, might be an interesting name to move back up and perhaps fill this gap. Uh, SLP. So another one here on our tight high scan. So you can see just basically a bunch of uh, overlapping trading sessions here. So take a look here, five days in a row, just got the same cluster of highs, the same ranges, You've got the long-term uptrend intact. So again, a uh, nice potential kind of breakout opportunity. Last but not least is KPTI, um, <clears throat> excuse me, this one here also showing a nice cluster of highs. Uh, we actually might have a position in this. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Um, so this might be a name that we currently own right now, just as full disclosure. Uh, but KPTI, this is uh, got a nice tight cluster of highs here as well. Uh, zooming out, it's been in a longer term uptrend. Near term, it's been in more turbulent waters. Uh, so something to pay attention to here. Volume is so certainly drying up uh, in this consolidation. So those are uh, some ideas there on the long side. On the short side, we're just looking at one stock scan. And actually, uh, a lot of these did move from when uh, just even minutes ago or 10 minutes ago before I hit record, because uh, I had a handful more names. So Shaq was one of them here, uh, which was showing up on our breakout failure list. So let's see here. So it looks like it's losing it now, but basically uh, SHAK, I had this one initially um, written down and you can see it's just moved a little bit, uh, but basically it's, it's tried to push up. Uh, it is selling off, it's back to, uh, I guess it's moved back into positive territory, which is why it's currently off the list here. Uh, but this one was looking a little more ominous just a little while ago, trading more closer to the lower end of today's range. Uh, and this is something that we can certainly still pay attention to on the downside. So these are all bearish ideas, uh, DKNJ, uh, I'm sorry, DKNG. Uh, this is DraftKings, I know a popular name now, uh, but you can see the, the attempt at new highs or the attempt to continue higher and then the reversal and closing lower here so you get a short-term sort of um kind of a sell signal there uh, in my eyes. VRNT, this one here, uh, again, now that it's lifted back up into bullish territory, this one not as an ideal of a candidate. FISV, uh, so this one here, again, tried to push up, tried to break above these recent highs, rejected, closing back near its lows. That's what the scan looks for. That's a pretty good candidate there. And CBOE, uh, this one here, uh, really gonna kind of show up on two lists here, bearish engulfing bar, but also kind of that breakout failure your bar where it tried to push up to new highs, rejected and is now closing or is at least trading near its lows. And this has been in a more uh, intermediate term sort of downtrend here. So that's it. Those are uh, the, the couple of different looks there with some different technical trade setups. Hopefully you found something there interesting. Remember, you still have to do your homework and all these ideas just because it shows up on a scan doesn't mean it's, it's an immediate buy or an immediate sell. You still need to kind of have the full trading plan built around these specific technical setups. And I think that's very important. Um, so uh, make sure you do your homework on these names. Hopefully you find something interesting. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Every Wednesday we run through uh, different scans, different trade ideas, just like this. It's always different. And um, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel if you wanna stay up to date with all of the latest. Have a great rest of your day and we'll see you back here on Friday for the long form market analysis video.